I think that all of us want to think of ourselves as a winner. And truly, I believe that's God's opinion of you, that you are a winner. In human mind, we tend to focus too much on what we have done wrong or our failures, and therefore we get an opinion of ourselves based somewhere in the past that is not accurate for today. I pray that you again feel like a winner. In Hebrews 12, verse 1, it says, Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. The key word there is perseverance, to keep on keeping on, to keep on running, to know that the strength that is giving you the power to run is from God, and that you are spiritually alive, and therefore you are a winner. Well, in a race, the first one to break the tape at the finish line, wins the race. And you think about that, it only lasts a second. And it could have been years of training accumulating in that one second. Yet, every runner in the race gains something. I remember watching a race of senior citizens and there was an 89-year-old woman. She was way back at the very back of the race. But she made it all the way. And she said, I won. I won the race because I did the race. And that's a good opinion to have of yourself. That you are a winner. All of us, in everyday life, we are running a race of sorts. We are each trying to move ahead, to gain momentum. But, and this is an important point, we are not in competition with others. We're in competition with ourselves. We are each answering the high call of becoming the ever-growing, ever-improving spiritual being that we are capable of expressing. Now, we may not always feel like a winner, but in God's eyes, we are. Each day we gain extra strength and conditioning. And each day we gain extra strength to go on beyond where we did yesterday. Just when we need it most, we get that spiritual second wind. And we move forward in our spiritual growth. We're always winners as spiritual beings. I pray that you think of yourself as a winner.